I am Femaria Petil of BS and Social Studies 1. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever video. In today's video, I am going to tackle about 8 topics, namely Green Schools, the concept and background, Green Schools and ESD, Essential Aspects of Green School Environment, Understanding the Green Curriculum, Creating a Green School, Characteristics of a Green School, Dark Green School Program Philippine Environmental Perspective, and the last one, Ecological Living Practices. Before I am going to tackle this lesson, let's just pause for a while and answer this question first. What comes into your mind when you hear or read this one? Green School For me, Green School is a school that supports global sustainability in every way. Green School also prepares the students to lead the world toward a healthier, cleaner, and sustainable future. Green School, the concept and background. The concept of Green School is a school that creates clean, healthy, protective, and green surroundings when saving energy, environmental resources, and money. With the advent of the concept of Green Schools, the focus is put entirely on the children encouraging them to use the appropriate skills to take necessary action on environmental, economic, and social issues which are currently the need of the hour and urgent issues that need to be addressed. The Green School is visualized as a school guided by the principles of environmental sustainability. It seeks to synthesize teachers and students for environmental sustainability through the active involvement of the community. The greenness of a school finds expression in various aspects of its environment. 1. The green school has clean, healthy, protective, and green surroundings. 2. It promotes both the physical and the psychosocial health of learners and others in the school. 3. Ensures a healthy provision of health services such as nutritional supplementation and counseling and a hygienic safe drinking water neat and clean classrooms, playground and parks, and etc. And safe learning environment with healthy practices. Example, a school free of drugs, corporal punishment, and harassment. Fourth, brings children closer to nature as far as possible and involves them in taking care of it. Green schools and ESD. ESD stands for Education for Sustainable Development that empower learners with knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes to take informed decisions and make responsible actions for environmental integrity, economic viability, and a just society. Education for Sustainable Development is a lifelong learning process and an integral part of quality education. It enhances the cognitive, social, and emotional, and behavioral dimensions of learning. It is holistic and transformational and encompasses learning content and outcomes, pedagogy, and the learning itself. Essential Aspects of Green School Environment Green schools strive to achieve success in three pillars. Reduce environmental impact and cost. Green schools reduce their environmental impact by reducing energy and water use, cutting back on fossil fuel use in transportation, reducing waste heated to landfill, and protecting natural habitats. Second one, improve occupants' health and performance. Green schools protect students and teachers' health by ensuring a clean and healthy indoor environment 
in the school, as well as providing programs and services for good nutrition and physical activity. Third one, increase sustainability literacy. Green schools teach students about sustainability and the environment, giving them the tools to solve the global challenges we face now and in the future. Green School supports sustainability literacy through curriculum and instructional practices that are interdisciplinary, place-based, and rooted in real-world context. Understanding the Green Curriculum Greening the curriculum means ensuring that students are capable of taking on the 21st century challenges of global warming and climate change which is the most serious threat ever to face humanity, social inequities, unsustainable lifestyle, and the urgent need to switch to a renewable energy-based economy. Greening the curriculum means being open to nature as teacher, the outdoors as classroom, and sustaining life for all future generations is the most important learning objective in our curriculum. Green curriculum was based on the new knowledge, understanding, skills, experiences, and attitudes needed to create a generation of graduates who have a grounding in compassion and ethics, who grasp the signs of global warming and the current and impending impacts of climate change who have clear understanding of how their health and ecosystem health are interrelated, who know they are a part of nature, who understand the ecological principles underlying how life works on earth, who can approach environmental, social, and economic problems with a solution focus, and who, because they understand the principles and processes of sustainable development can become the change needed in the world. Creating a green school. Do you ever try to come up with new ways to improve your school's efficiency? Making a pre-existing school facility greener can be a frustrating concept, but actually it's not that hard to take the building in a greener direction with a few implementations and additions. So here are 10 ways that you can make your existing school a greener facility. Number one, use green cleaning products. Number two, improve recycling programs. Number three, use green building materials. Number four, open the windows. Number five, get plans for the classroom. Number six, find weaknesses in your HVAC and water systems. Number seven, improve your air quality. Number eight, consider going solar. Number nine, test your water. And number 10, reduce your energy use. By implementing a few of these practices, You'll see a noticeable difference and your school will become greener every day. Characteristics of a green school What makes a school sustainable? Conserves energy and natural resources. Improves indoor air quality. Saves taxpayer money. Removes toxic materials from places where children learn and play employs daylighting strategies and improves classroom acoustics, improves environmental literacy in students, decreases the burden on municipal water to benefit the local community and region, encourages waste management efforts to benefit the local community and region, conserves fresh drinking water and helps manage stormwater runoff, encourages recycling, promotes habitat protection, reduce demand on local landfills. Dark Green School Program 
Philippine Environmental Perspective. The objective of the Dark Green Schools program that students graduating from Philippines schools have the knowledge and skills and motivation to work for the integrity of our country's environment for the whole of God's creation for their own sake and for the sake of generations to come so what do we mean by dark green school or DGS a DGS is a school that delivers environmental education through assimilation of the environmental philosophy by the students day in day out in formal lessons as well as from activities outside the classroom a dgs also calls for green spaces appropriate land use planning conservation of materials and energy proper waste management segregation use of appropriate materials and avoidance of harmful ones and respect others right to smoke free air calls for management policies and guidelines that would affect a healthful and ecological campus it has also a well-planned environmental curriculum for all levels ecological living practices what is sustainable or ecological living sustainable living is the practice of reducing your demand for natural resources by making sure that you replace what you use to the best of ability we all know that climate change global warming depletion of the ozone layer and resource depletion are real and their impact on human and animal lives can be devastating. It is an opportunity for people to adapt actions for sustainable living that can help them to reduce their carbon footprint or environmental impact by altering their lifestyle. So there are ultimate ideas to practice sustainable or ecological living number one become a member of a community number two practice minimalism number three change the lights in your house number four become more efficient with your errands number five start using natural cleaners Number six, spend more time reading and playing games. Number seven, try to get on a more natural sleep schedule. Number eight, reduce, reuse, and recycle, or the three R's. Number nine, walk, bike, or carpool to work. Number 10, and plug device when not in use. Number 11, buy right size house. Number 12, use daylight as much as possible. Number 13, stop unwanted mail. Number 14, practice keeping a zero energy balance budget. 15, change your washing habits. 16, choose renewable energy. 17. Buy products with less packaging. 18. Ditch the plastic. 19. Skip single-use items. 20. Replace all possible disposables. 21. Carry your own reusable shopping bags. 22. Use sustainable technologies. 23. Observe an eco Sabbath. 24. Share with friends or borrow. 25. Have three free home. 26. Remodeling with some green building choices. 27. Make your own. And the last one. 28. Finally, your food. That could be all. Thank you. 
and I hope you've learned something today.